Hello everyone, Cindy here, and I'm back with another um, creative video. Um, I'm going to start a series on pockets, folds, um, uh, notebooks, um, any anything that would be ephemera for our journals. Um, I know it would have helped me a lot if I could have um, had some things to refer to. I did the three envelope video um, day before yesterday, I believe. And um, I have decided what I'm going to do. They're going to be real short um, because they just don't take a lot of time. And I also like short videos. And uh, what I've decided to do, instead of doing two or three projects in one video, since they don't take a whole lot of time, I'm still just going to do one. It may be 10 minutes. It may be 15 minutes. If we get one that's more complicated, it may be 20 minutes. But I think this way, it'll be very helpful because I'm going to have a um, playlist and you can just go down the playlist and see which one you want to refer to if you're um, getting ready to make a, make a pocket or a tag, or not tags, but a pocket or tuck or something like that. Then you will be able to see that exact one that you're looking for and you won't have to um, wait on the video to finish maybe doing one that you're not interested in. So, with that, let's get started, and today we are going to make, let me show you this, this is a, you could call it a little envelope, um, tuck spot, um, you can just put it, tuck it into your journal, and you, this is um, the front, and then you open it up, and you have a tuck spot, and then we're going to put a, a tab here, and then you turn it over, and you have a tuck spot here. And it's floating, if you would like for it to, you can glue down to the back, or not to glue down to the back, or if you want it stabilized, you can glue to the back, and then you would have the front, and you would open it up, and you would have this and this. And another great thing about this is you can uh, use your 12 by 12 packs of paper that are one-sided. I mean, how, you know, how great is that? So that's what we're going to do. I have a big old pack of paper that I got years ago at Joann's, and it's one-sided. And, you know, I just leave it laying there. I, I go around it. I don't do anything with it. So... This is going to use um, the 12 by 12 paper pad that's white on the back. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is um, your 12 by 12 paper. And what you want to do is you want to figure, the only thing you got to figure out in this whole video is how wide you want it to fit in the journal you're going to be making, okay? Um, this one, I've used the whole 12 by 12, I believe. Let me check. I think I did. Yes, this one I have used the whole 12 by 12 piece, and um, our pocket is going to be 6 by 6, of course. Um and it may be a little off because sometimes the folds take up a little bit. Um, so if you want a pocket 6x6, six six, you're good to go with just your 12x12. 12 12. Just keep in mind that you have to have a square. It has to be 5x5, 4x4, 3x3, 2x2. It has to um, be a square. So we're going to start out, and I'm going to show you how to do this. I mean, it is so, so simple. Okay, we've got this piece of paper, and I thought this was real pretty. I like the, um, this side of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over, and we're going to fold it in half. Okay, and that doesn't matter if it's um, what size it is. Then you're going to turn it around, and you're going to fold it in half again. 
okay? Then at this point, you're going, the way I do it, I, you can do it different ways, but the way I do it is I open it back up and I fold this to the center and you want to leave a small um, amount of uh, before your fold line so it doesn't catch when you're closing it. Then you're going to bring the next one in and you're going to fold it. Now that's all there is to it. That's it. Now, the next thing you're going to do, you're just going to fold it back in half, okay? And then you're going to, okay, if I, it's quick. Now, if you want the, um, if you want the, let me show you this. If you want the, um, the solid piece on the front, you fold it, you know, you just fold it with these this way and you just fold it up and turn it over if you want the if you want it the other way if you want this on the front you just flip it over and fold it the other way okay now we have our um our little journal we have a pocket we have another piece of paper and we have a pocket Okay, the first thing I want to do is we're going to open this up and we are going to do a little bit of, um, stenciling. That's what we're going to do to the inside of this, okay? Just, you just do a little random. You're not going to do a whole lot. You're just going to kind of come in and do one and do up there and right there. And then I'm going to move it over and I'm going to put that flower there. And um, that's about it. Now, if you want it heavier, you can make it heavier. But um, then we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the same thing on the back. And it doesn't matter what stencil you use, just anything that you have. And I'm just going to stencil here and here and there and there. Then I'm going to just move it over a little bit. And I'm going to put that flower there and I think I'll put those leaves there. Okay. And if you want to, we can put something right there. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, that's all you do. Now we're going to decorate it, and I am going, I've already pre-cut these, so um, we can move along. I'm going to ink these up. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing okay today. It's um, a nice, pretty day here, and um, it's kind of, sometimes it's kind of hard to um, <laughs> stay inside, but, <clears throat> excuse me. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I am going to make a little um, pocket right here. So I'm just going to take and run glue on three sides. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do is just run it on three sides. Then I'm going to just turn it over and I'm gonna leave a little bit of the green showing on the back side because I just think it's so pretty okay oops it's not is it sticking yeah there we go okay now um you probably won't be making it this size this would be for a really big journal um this one is um <laughs> six by six by six. So it kind of makes um, a better size. But I'm making this so you can um, all see real well. And then what I think I'm going to do is um, just going to take, just go into your scraps and um, find a little something that you like. Ink it up. And then we're going to um, put that right there. Although I think I'm going to move it over. I'm going to tuck it under so we can um, 
so it doesn't hinder whatever we put in our pocket okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift this up just a little bit and I'm just gonna slide that in like that and um, I also worked on my um, camera arm for my iPad and I think I've got things pretty well situated now let's see I did have yeah let me finish cutting this out I thought this little this some um, little set of um, numbers came from a kit from um, Dasami, Dasami, Tsunami Rose and I'm just going to sniff that. Okay, then I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on there. I have decided that I, it's kind of fun at night, you know, I try to figure out what I want to do for my next video of my books and tucks and little area. And it's, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And um, I think it will be very useful also because I know I know that sometimes even if I make something I you know maybe I see something or I make something and then the journal sells and I don't remember what I did and um, so this way you can just if you'll just mark the playlist you can go and just um, find what interests you Okay, then I'm going to ink this up. This also came from um, Tsunami Rose. She has a lot of good um, things like this. Telegrams, um, um, postcards, old um, ephemera that she has um, copied of her own and added in. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to lay that right there. You know, there is some beautiful paper in some of these um, one-sided paper packs. So, I am just thrilled to find a way um, to use them. Okay. There we go. Now you can um, you can you can do whatever you want to on this. You can you know you can decorate each side however you want to. You can get as um, as detailed as you want to. But I'm just kind of show the purpose of these videos is to show you the folds and do a little bit of. Um, decorating so you can um you can look at it and decide what you want to do okay now here's the front and they you um you just clip this is a better size you just clip it in your note in your journal just you know with a gym clip or a paper clip or something like that I, i've been sitting here just making them i'm making stack of them so when I get ready to make a journal, I can just reach over and pick it up. Um, my journals, I, I like the size um, that's eight by um, four and three fourths. I like that size. So I would make one that, that would be three by three that would go in there. And then I also like the um, five by seven or five by nine. So in that, you would just cut out you would make a four by four and here again you just you fold it this way then you fold it this way and then um you just tuck your um tuck your folds down just like that and you're ready to go so, and you know what you could do? You could even, maybe I ought to save this for another video. Um, you could um, make a book out of this, a pamphlet. You could do the um, three stitch buttonholes, I mean, um, three hole pamphlet stitch, and then you would have pages in here. That would be really cool. Yeah. So, okay, here we go. Uh, so, this is the front. 
we have uh, we can add tags or whatever you want to add to the front then we're going to open it up and we're going to have um a fold now if you want to i think we need to you need to glue that if um if you want to i would and then here we've got this and then we're going to turn it over well wait a minute hold everything yeah, I'm sorry. I had it folded backwards. Okay, let's start over here. This is the front, and you're just going to tuck in. And you're going to turn it over, tuck in, tuck here, turn over, and tuck. Okay, and I am going to just run a little bit of glue right on this fold. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. And then I am going to just, you can use your bone folder, your finger, whatever, whatever suits you. And then we're just going to take and fold these back in. And there you go. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, simple, simple, simple. You can decorate this up as um, much as you want or as little as you want. Um, add your tags. You can even add a little booklet here. Um, you could add a little paper bag. Um, you could even do some stamping on here and here if you wanted to. And, of course, you have the option of um, gluing it down in your journal or letting it be a, um, a floating piece of ephemera. Okay, ladies, that's it for today. And um, I will be back real soon with more flips, flow, flips, tucks, and ephemera. Okay? Thank you so much. Y'all have a wonderful day, and thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.